Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have a super quick update to discuss in the world of iOS. Earlier this morning, Apple seeded iOS 9.3 Beta 6 to registered developers, as well as the corresponding version to public beta testers. Let's go ahead and open up Safari and get straight into this. We're just on Apple's developer portal right now, which remember is at least partially accessible without having to sign in. All we're really concerned about is viewing the post state for this latest beta, again, iOS 9.3 Beta 6. When we scroll down here, you'll notice it confirms that it was posted on March 7th, 2016, today's date, and that is the latest build number, which does correspond to beta 6. Now, let's quickly get into iOS 9.3, but first I need to mention that if you don't know what 9.3 offers over iOS 9.2.1, then you should definitely check out my coverage on iOS 9.3 beta 5, this firmware's predecessor, because I go more into depth in that video, and it's just a better explanation overall, because really nothing has changed, at least not that much, from iOS 9.3 beta 5 to beta 6. So check that out. I will have a direct link in your cards right now as well as your annotations and it will also be down below in the more info for your convenience as well if you happen to be on mobile. Now, from iOS 9.3 beta 5 to beta 6, the update is somewhere in the order of about 40 megabytes depending on your device. So it's not big whatsoever, and we can rightfully assume that most of the changes are just under the hood optimizations, readying it for the public and its grand debut later this month. Remember, iOS 9.3 is expected to be released at Apple's rumored March event, which could take place anywhere from one to two weeks from today's date, most likely to though, according to rumors, they're pegging the event as being on March 21st, 2016, where they are rumored to unveil the iPhone SE, as well as a refreshed iteration of the 9.7 inch iPad. For those of you who are dead set on learning the differences between this beta and its predecessor, unfortunately, there really aren't any discernible changes, which likely means we're just that much closer to seeing iOS 9.3 in its public form, and in turn, a new untethered jailbreak. As I've mentioned a number of times throughout my videos, jailbreak developers are likely waiting for iOS 9.3 to be released before issuing a new untethered jailbreak solution for all of you who are stuck on iOS 9.1 up to 9.2.1 and of course iOS 9.3 beta and the public iteration once it's released. We're not going to go too into depth on jailbreaking in today's video though because as I mentioned earlier I go more into depth in my video discussing iOS 9.3 beta 5, this firmware's predecessor, and nothing really has changed as far as iOS 9.3's release time frame or jailbreaking is concerned since beta 5 was released less than one week ago. Really the only thing that's changed is that we have the sixth beta of iOS 9.3 as likely being the final release instead of beta 5. So be sure to check out that video for more details on 9.3 in general as well as jailbreaking. I'll have it linked down below in the more info. Remember we're getting closer and I'm going to keep you updated absolutely every step of the way. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're ready for the next untethered jailbreak and if you're looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Also for those of you who want to get on iOS 9.3 beta 6 it's very simple. You can either do so through Apple's developer portal or if you have yet to go to beta.apple.com and sign in through your regular Apple ID. Once that's enrolled you can go to beta.apple.com forward slash profile then just sign in with that exact same Apple ID download the profile which is exactly the same as the developer update process if you're just doing it on your device without your computer it'll then redirect you to the settings app ask you to input your password if you have one you then just install it it'll prompt you to reboot once you come back up, you're just going to launch the settings app, go inside of general, followed by software update, and you should see the update downloading there. After it's downloaded, you can just follow the on-screen steps to install it, and your device will just go through the regular OTA or on-device update. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, stay tuned, click the subscribe button below if you have yet to, that way you'll be fully notified when I release new videos. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCracker Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.